Patrick, uh, good to see you. Um, now, I, I got to start. You, you have a big product launch coming up soon. Your VP Marketing has called it one of the most ambitious projects in your history. And please do come to talk to us about it first. I, I, I don't expect you to spill the beans today, but if you had one criticism of the wearable speakers on the market today, some call them headphones, what would it be? Great to see you, John, an incredible opening. Uh, how about we talk about this quarter first? Uh, we were <laughs> able to successfully navigate, you know, really the most challenging supply chain environment that we've ever seen, that I, certainly we've ever seen in the last two decades, uh, and deliver more for our customers and exceed expectations, which was awesome. And, and you know, we we see strong consumer demand, um, you know, and our models working. So we actually uh, increased the midpoint of our guidance range for the year. Uh, we feel like things are on the right track and kind of the worst of the supply chain challenges are behind us. We have a super exciting product roadmap that I can't wait to share with you uh, when we're ready to release the new products. Well, then don't wait. Oh, you, when you're ready to release the new products. So you said you can't wait and then you said that we gotta wait. Okay, I won't ask more about that. I do wanna know more though about the supply chain stuff and how you've been working through that. Have these shortages uh, changed your overall approach to your supply chain and even product design? And, and I don't mean necessarily reactively, but as you've gone through this period, has there been any retooling, any rethinking of the components you use, the suppliers you use, the processes you use, so that uh, maybe your margins or your approach will be different from here on out even once we're through this period? Absolutely, John. So I think it's you know taught us that resilience is the key, and I, th I think our team has been very resilient, but probably one of the most important things is making sure that we have multiple suppliers for a variety of components, and we've increased the number of boards that we create for uh, um, and board variations inside our product. So consumers won't see this necessarily, but usually there'll be one or two boards that we'll have so that we can make sure that we're, we have enough supply and, and you know dual sourcing across the supply chain. But in some cases now we have seven. Uh, for a particular product. And so, you know, there's situations where we're going to build more of that resiliency and um, work with even more suppliers. You know, there's been some great investments happening um, in the United States around manufacturing, supply chain, all those things. So we're following that closely as well. Um, we definitely want to build more resilience in over time. I think the, uh, so there's some learnings from this, but I also think that the good news is we really feel like the worst is behind us. There's certainly still challenges as we go through this year, but it's getting better. Uh, and the consumer remains strong. Hmm. Patrick, good morning. It's Deirdre. Great to have you on. Uh, I wonder if you could give us an update on your relationship with Google after patent infringement lawsuits, disputes. Do you feel uh, that that has been adequately settled? Are they still copying your technology? And would your sales longer term financial outlook look different? Yeah, hey, Dee. Um, you know, uh, so on January 6th, um, we were vindicated in the uh, ITC. And so we won an injunction against Google. And so, you know, 60 days later, so March 6th, um, they have a decision to make. Either they license the technology from us, either they stop selling the products that infringe, which are all their smart speaker products, um, or they could uh, remove the technology from those products and ship an even more inferior product. So th those are their options. Um, we remain, you know, we have a relationship with them. Uh, obviously we support Google Assistant, YouTube Music, some of those things. Um, but they have a decision to make in terms of what they want to do. Mm. Um, we, you know, won definitively in the ITC, which mm -hmm. shows the power of our intellectual property and really just reinforces the fact that we invented the smart speaker category.